Hello, this is Dark Rambler. This is my first attempt at a YouTube video ever in my life. Well, actually, I've made a few other ones, but I dumped them. Uh, this one, I'm going to try it. I'm hoping it'll come out good enough to upload. Uh, I'm not looking to win any awards here. I just love this game, The Age of Decadence, and, and I want to do a playthrough, and I would like to share my character build, and I'm going to try to do this in a way which... You know the videos I make, are, they're not, they're not too long and and not too much commentary, and they're more aimed at people who have played this game a little bit or maybe played it through once or twice. And I just want to share my build and, and um, you know my take on this. So here we go. We'll start. We'll skip the training. We'll start a game because I like. I like a fighting character, and, and he's a jack of all trades, actually. But I want to use a two-handed spear, so I'm going to name this guy Vlad, and you know what comes next: <laughs> the Impaler, <laughs> based on, of course, uh, Vladimir Tepe's the original Dracula, so to speak, and. Uh, Mercenary background, that's, that's well round enough. Plus, I get that, that quest to start out where I can get a hold of the map and that gray sphere. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at this. Okay, we'll go. Uh, do we want a beard? There we go. We'll do this right there. Okay, I'm going to run this down quick. I prefer to flush the strength all the way down to 4. Boost the dexterity to 10 because I need to move around because I ain't tough enough to stand there and, and, and get stabbed all day. Uh, and because I'm counting on being able to move out of the way and to get a lot of skill points early on to up my fighting skills and defensive skills, I hold my constitution at 6. Because I really like to have more perception. You're not as strong. You won't hurt as much when you hit. But you're going to hit more often. And of course intelligence. Intelligence gives you a, a good healthy extra amount of, of skill points. And so you can actually build a little bit more into your character. If you can get some more skill points. And, and we got a good balance here to start out with. So here we go with the spear. I want three. The dodge, I'll go ahead and put four for now. Now, I do want to get a little bit up on this critical strike. That that will come soon into the game. And my civil skills, actually, I'm going to do a few skills that you actually see on a thief. And it's not going to get much more than this here. But this will actually help me get some needed skills in other places, believe it or not. Uh, alchemy to poison my spear to make poison to put on my spear lore because lore is a very big part of my character like I said I want to be a jack of all trades so here we go Basically the setting, you know, we, we know the setting. The setting is basically a post-Roman apocalyptic, uh, basically like dark ages, very dark ages. And you start in a small town, which is something of a, an outpost, military outpost, something like that. Uh, and you work in an inn guarding the guests at night, I guess, protecting. And turns out you're not really that great at it. And I'm going to try to make things flow with, without you know diving into the dialogue too much so I'm gonna go ahead and get my first quest the guy tells me easy on the wine you're working tonight don't worry about it all right and so we have a guest a merchant and I'm supposed to protect him but I want better gear so the game allows you to in a kind of a linear way to start out with to to kind of prepare and I'm gonna sell what I don't want. I want a two-handed spear, not a one-handed, so I'm selling that and my gear. There we go, and I'm gonna get him some cool looking leather gear. It's not, it's not as much protection, but I plan on dodging. I want the dory, and just to look cool, let's, let's give Vlad the Impaler a black cape. 
And oh no, there he is in his tidy whities. And let's dress him up. All right, and we're gonna run just right through this little hallway, and I'm going to go to the alchemist, and I'm going to buy because I've got alchemy level two. I'm gonna buy a few things. I already know what a lot of these herbs do, so I want kadura leaves. I'll go ahead and buy three for now because I'm a little bit low on the gold, and I'm gonna buy three cassava roots. I think they're called. Uh, that will make me some healing potions. So while I'm here, I go through my inventory. Here we go, I'll make three healing potions. Three poisons. And I'm gonna get ready to fight because that does a lot of the damage, particularly when fighting groups, is to have a poisoned weapon. And we're going, we're going to get into some trouble. Go right away, yes. You should head to the inn. So now I'm in a hotel room or <laughs> the inn in the room with the uh, guest and I'm promising him everything's going to be well but he promises promises you know somebody comes in and kills him so now I have to fight which is what we want to do and shouldn't have no problem surviving this fight He's gonna take a little bit of ooh, he's gonna take a little bit more than I wanted him to take. <laughs> okay, I don't like you. No. Not at all. But he's not gonna last. See that 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 poison takes him. I don't even have to hit him again. I can just I can just come all the way back here, move around, and he'll fall over. And that does it. And I'm going to loot him. I'm going to leave the arrows because you need a stack of 10 in order to sell them and I don't feel like carrying, you know, extra stuff around or waiting. So, you know, I, I will take this and loot the poor dead guy and, you know, sell the stuff. You take everything valuable, supposedly. And since now I lost 11 hit points, I will take the opportunity to heal myself up because I am going to have to fight. At first, it seems I'm going to be leaving the room, but as I continue, I notice the, the dead guy has a map in his hand, so I take it, and because I got a perception at eight, I notice a small gray sphere lying on the floor nearby, and of course, I'm gonna get that. I may possibly use that later in the game, but I wanna have it anyways. And the innkeeper, yeah, he's not overjoyed at uh, what has transpired, but we're gonna sell the guy's stuff anyways and make a little money. So we will take the goods to Cato, the leader of the guilds, of the Thieves Guild. I'm sorry, I apologize. Hey, this is Amateur Hour. You got to know this. And if you can put up with my, my deep south country bumpkin sound uh, talking, uh, we'll do okay. Uh, so we're conducting a little business at the Thieves Guild. They own a tavern and returning, we get ambushed. And so it's time to fight again. Good, good. Let's get one more good jab in there. I like that. Okay, and Vardanus is actually going to help me. He usually does not survive uh, these fights. And I'm going to move one over and I'm going to take him away so Vardanus can maybe whittle on that other guy for me. And actually, you know, there, there's a small possibility he might actually live through it, but if he doesn't, fine, I'll just take his loot. Okay, I'll peel off, I'll pull back a little bit more. Yeah, Verdanis is not doing good. I want to see what his hit points are. With that thug, he got him down a little bit. Man, that's an even fight. The guy might live, but I kind of want to at least get the final blow on both of these guys, the, the, the killing blow, so I can uh, up my body count. Okay. Let's get over here and keep trying. 
Man, that's a dodgy booger. Okay, now this guy, he doesn't have much left. Let's see, I'm gonna pan back a little bit and hit him once. Okay, he won't live again, so I'm gonna turn around and, and, and hit this guy one time. Well, <laughs> I guess not. And I'll step back. Nineteen and thirty-two. Okay, Verdanis. Uh, I'll do what I can, but I can't make no promises. I didn't count on fighting everybody in the world tonight, but hang on, buddy. He still got nineteen. You know what? He may very well live through this. He very well well may. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to pass on this turn. Good. I need to be the one to kill this guy. Good. Okay, that should give me a body count of three. That's good. That's what I want right now. And he made it. Hard to believe, but he made it. Yeah, Vladimir... Oh, Dracula, you didn't think he could be a good guy, but don't worry, he's not going to be like a total good guy. He'll do a few good things and do a lot of bad things too, because that's the nature of this game. Yeah, right. Okay, so I'm going to escort him back to the end. Okay, and I make a good little chunk of us skill points, and hmm, that's where we'll go. We'll, uh,. We'll rest up and we will go see the Lore Master Fing. Now, we've completed that quest. And let me check out my skill points, see what I have. I have enough. One, two. Okay, I want to get one more for my critical strike. Uh, that's okay. I will get it soon. Before I go pay Fing uh, a visit, uh, he's actually kind of a fraud. Since I got a dexterity of eight, I will climb on the roof. I got a lockpick of three. It will allow me to pick that uh, that trap door <laughs> or attic door, and I will gain a point. I will go inside. I will be sneaking. I will gain another point. I will spy. I will look around. I will look at these documents, and I will get an increase in my lower skill. Now it is at three. Very good. And. If I go to these boxes, uh, Fing will spot me and kick me out. I will also get a lockpick skill increase, and I'm at four. And this will really help a lot. And I will now talk to him, and Fing seems to be a very forgiving guy because he talks to me like nothing ever happened with me breaking in his house. <laughs> and I will show him the map. And he will spin me a, a line of, uh, of bull, so to speak. And because now I have a three in my lore success, I will actually catch him up on something. And I will get a couple of skill points. I will pay him and complete a quest and get more skill points. Good deal. And he wants me to get rid of some competition. A new lore master is coming to town that may put him out of business. Uh, so basically, I'm going to kill this guy. It's a deal. Uh, there is an option of running him out of town, but then my uh, you, you get this reputation. I want word of honor if I can get my word of honor to one I can pick up another quest here in town, and so uh, I need to keep my word. I need to do away with this guy Now I have enough to where I can get critical strike at four and when you crit somebody in a conversation, you actually have a dialogue option to kill someone. At least in Terran, in the first act, you need your crit at four. And you... I'm sorry. Never mind, never mind. We will keep on going. I'm just going... I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to the end. Okay, I'm going to lure this guy to an abandoned house, and it's going to be over pretty quick. <laughs> Critical strike. He's done. Now I have a body count of 
four. Good, I'm getting there. And a word of honor to back up what uh, what Vlad the Impaler is doing. The evil guy. Okay. Cassius is no longer a problem. And so he wants me to give this ring to Lord Antetus, the ruler of the town. And it's supposedly, I think it's going to help him be the new lore master for this guy now. But I spot that, you know, it's a fake ring, but I will still help him that way. Uh, still, I think I will. Okay, I'm not going to ask him why he came here because I have no charisma and I'll just fail on that dialogue. It won't change the game. So, yeah, leave it alone. <laughs> okay, so here we are. What I want to do, let's see, how much money do I have? I have 310. Uh, I'm going to go next door to the blacksmith. And I will look in. There's two windows you can look in here. One over here, one right here. Vlad is going to climb through. Breaking and entering. Well, maybe not breaking, but certainly entering, trespassing. There we go. I get a civil skill point for coming in here and now I have a chest that it takes a lock picking skill of four to open. Now I have it, I will gain another skill point and there's an axe in there, I'll take it out. I will come over here and look at this workbench and gain a skill point into crafting. I'm pretty sure, let me check this out here. Yes, my crafting is now at two. Plus I got five skill points. And I will sneak into this room. I will get another point for sneaking. And I will check these chests and barrels. And I believe I stole some some ore, some ingots. Okay. Now a little too close, so I couldn't see that dialogue. And so we'll go back out and we'll look at how many points we have and see what else we're gonna do. So there's a few things you can do like this to, to get skill points that you otherwise wouldn't know helps to sneak around and, and to look around look for some good opportunities uh, I will actually go to the end and then I'll probably end my video because I want to keep my videos kind of short uh, I will go into the end uh, there's some background uh, this game the thing is there's no voiceovers you don't hear any anybody saying anything just screaming when you stab them and you're gonna hear yourself scream a lot when they stab you and believe me that's gonna happen a lot uh, it's a tough game. It's brutal. Uh, the combat, uh, you got to really know what you're doing. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I've played it through a few times, and, and I've got a, a kind of a few ideas here. And this here is just lower the game. Uh, if you're going to play this, and it's really immersive, I'm just going to speed through it just to let somebody, in case somebody comes along who hasn't played before, watches these videos, odds are, what are the odds? Like I say, this is my first YouTube video ever, and I don't even know if this one's going to be good enough that I'm going to want to upload it, but nah, we'll see. I need a room. I got to pay. Okay, I paid. So I have a room, and I will have a chest that whatever town I go to where there is an inn, I will be able to access my stash, you know, everywhere there's an inn in the game. Now look another skill point sneaking another skill point opening the chest another one good and i'll be able to get my money back and even though he's standing out there the door's open nobody seems to mind you know in this game it seems to be fairly easy another skill point one for sneaking as well as coming in the door and that's another three so that's six i got right here plus i can make more poison and heal potions okay i can pick but i can't go in there's a guy sleeping. If I try to go in, the guy in the room wakes up. Uh, I don't get attacked or arrested. I just back out. Okay, so we'll come in here. Somebody's in there. Skill points, skill points. We want, we want more. We can't get enough. That chest is already open, so I don't get a point for just looting it, but it doesn't matter. I get a little money. Okay, now this here. No, I didn't unlock that. That door was already open. Okay, I pick a lock, I sneak, somebody's in there, I'll stay away from that bed, but I'll take what's on the shelf. Okay, I'm almost out of a uh, carrying room. Let's see, can I get everything? No, I can't. I'll come back and get that later. 
I'll go sell all this stuff. Uh, if you remember, I made a rather weak character, but uh, that's just... It's not that I'm not opposed to having strength. As you get so few attribute points, you got to be really picky. And I want to be able to do some fighting, some wheeling and dealing with the nobility, and, and some persuading and diplomacy, and some uh, archaeological lore master type uh, digs. And so as you know, can can really come out ahead here. I'm not going to show this you know every time that I go to sell because you know that would make the video too boring that's if you haven't already left <laughs> uh, I will sell this I will sell anything bronze I'm not gonna craft with bronze but I'm breaking down those knives uh, I'm not making anything with bronze yes once again I will sell that uh, the ingots I've got jewels yes sell the jewels made all that money back Okay, and I want to show a little bit about the crafting. You can break things down. That's so why I didn't want to break down all the bronze stuff. Uh, uh, I will break down the leather because uh, I'm gonna make I'll make some of my own leather. Let's see, can I make a helmet? I can make a leather numerai helmet. Uh, I don't think I can. Penalty one, okay, so I won't have any penalties, okay. So I'll actually make myself a, 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 a hat to wear, and I will put this hat on. Let's take a look. You know what, if you ever go and look up any paintings of Vladimir Tepes, known as Vlad the Impaler, it kind of looks like this. You know, so uh, let's see how much money we have. Okay, now we got a, a decent little bit of money. So what I would like to do is the last thing I do in this video in, in the first segment is to go to the gate. Uh, you don't have to run around. You can. Uh, and as you enter in, you see refugees trying to get in the gate. So you, what you do, what I do, anyway, I will just, you know, pay to let them in. But what I will do since I have a... Uh, I'm not going to use the quick travels this time. I'm actually going to run through the town. Uh, because I have a word of honor for taking care of that uh, that lore master for Thing, uh, I'll be able to pick up a new quest here. I have word of honor, as, as you can see down here, at one. And because I have it, and I, uh, I got those people into... The town, I'm going to talk to one of them, Amy Otis, and I'm going to pick up a quest from him. He gives me some armor, and I will talk with him a little bit, and as I'm about to leave, Word of Honor Success, uh, he wants me to go to his villager, either sneak in or fight uh, eight tough guys and get his gold. You have my word, which means I intend to do it. It's on my map. I get a couple of skill points. Uh, make a quick sell. Okay, let me take a look at what we got here. I'm not carrying too much, I'm looking at the weight. So I will take a little break, and this will be the end of this video, and I'm gonna check it out, and, and if, um, if I can live with the quality, uh, then I'll try to learn how to upload this thing to YouTube, and this will end up being my first YouTube video ever. Thank you, Dark Rambler out.